What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moodle WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to use the WP file download from Jam United. That is an amazing plugin to manage, control and let files downloads onto your WordPress website. I really really enjoy this plugin because it lets me get download permissions, have social locker if you're using the add-on and have some amazing layout options so you can display and share your files so the users can download directly into your WordPress website with full control, even email notifications. Before anything, I would like to show the plugin demonstrative page. And after this, we're going to be downloading, uploading and getting the plugin to work. Here is the plugin developer's website, the page where you can download this plugin, you can get this plugin. I'm going to leave a link in the description below, so you can click on it to go to this page. Here is how the files download going to look like. You have some layouts, so you can play with. You can let persons download anything that you like, so no need to worry. You even have integration with WooCommerce for digital files download, for example. have four themes to play with, you have four layout options. You can limit the file access and visibility. You can full, take full control of the settings, you can even edit email notifications. So let's imagine that some person is downloading your WordPress theme digital file. If you update this file, you can upload the file into the WordPress dashboard and the users that has downloaded this folder will be notified by email. We also have full integration and something that I really enjoy that is the social locker. So to download this content, you need to do some action on your social media, for example, follow you on Twitter. We have integration with all of the top plugins, for example, Elementor, Greenberg, WP Bakery, and the pricing because there is no free launch. And the developers who spend time doing this too need to receive some from it, of course. Now, I have downloaded the plugin and the add-ons. I'm gonna be styling first of all the plugin so I can share the options and the tools and after this, the add-on. Go to WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, Upload, select your file. I'm gonna be installing this one, that is the file that I download from the Jam United site. The process to download and upload, it's really, really simple, nothing to worry about. But if you see the file exceeds the most upload file size and PHP, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for a tutorial where I do explain how to fix this issue. But it is not normal, it's a host issue, but easy to fix. After downloading and click on active, you go to the setup wizard. That where is the plugin gonna set, gonna check your PHP extension if always enabled. You can set the default layout. You can change it later, no need to worry. It's easy to check, just change, but the very first thing to do is select the preferred one. We can also change the color, the margin, the padding, you can hide or show some field in the case that you like or not. Every single part of this can be edited later, but the plugin wants to let you the option to change it before anything. Now, you can log into the servers of the developers. This is important. I will not do that by now, but it's important in the case that you are managing so many files and would like to take full control of this. Now we are done. Just click into this orange button and you go to the plugin page. On your web or pass dashboard, now you can see a new button into the left fast side of your screen. Call it WP File Download. And this is the plugin screen. The very first thing to do is create your new category. You can display all the category, a single category or a single file into your page front end for your site users. But I'm gonna be creating two categories. One gonna be the PDFs 
and another gonna be image but this is up to your imagination and your needs for example you can separate in topics for example you share books and you separate the books for motivational books author books sci-fi books but for me i'm gonna be sharing pdfs and images if you click if you right click into the gallery into the category you can even change the color of the folder these icons can be edited as well i'm going to show that later but let's focus on the simple things you can change the color by right clicking into the category and now we're going to need to upload files let me check if i have some pdf to test but before anything let me apply some image click on select file it gonna opens your computer screen so you can upload your files the process to upload it's really fast here's the image that I'm gonna be uploading now let me upload some PDFs I only have one I'm gonna copy and do some copies of this PDF just to matter of testing and show you the process and now we have a couple of images and these four pdfs If you right click over the PDF or over any file that you upload, you can have the full control of the file. For example, the publish or unpublish, change the title, the type, the password protected. So let's imagine that you want to have some file, but you would like to protect with a password. It's possible. You can even set an expiration date, a category. You can set a custom icon, you can apply tags, the version number, and the description. The remote URL as well. This is really nice. All this meta info, it's so important for persons who is downloading things from your site. And for you to take control and have records of what you are doing. If you click on the select the custom icon, you're gonna be open the WP Media Library where you can select some folder to play with. After change is done, you can click on save settings. The same thing gonna work with image or any kind of file that you would like to upload. If you want to upload a new version of this file, you have a field as well into the section next to the save settings right here now let's explore a little bit more the plugin here's the statistics where we're gonna track where when and how many downloads we are receiving the tags we just have created one so nothing much here but we have the tags this is one of my favorite sections, that is the icon set, where you can edit, review, and check the icons. We have the SVG and the PNG. This is really important because the icons need to fit to your website layout to make everything looks good. And you can even apply custom CSS in the case that you want. Now, Let's go to the final option, that is the configuration or the setup panel, where we can see the f we can take the full control of the plugin options. For example, what admin can do, the front end into the viewer, statistics, the search settings. I did not mention that before, but the plugin have a search option, a search field, so the person can search for the name of the file. 
This is really good in the case that you have many files to share and to control. We have the theme options, the clone theme options, the short code. I'm going to be copying the short code to display all the, the files into the same page later. The translation, the email notification that as told previous is where we're going to set up the emails notifying and edit the email template as well. The user rules is what any kind of user can do. The permissions, for example, editor, administrator, author, contributor, subscriber, customer, and the guest and shop manager. Now, let me go to some page and add new so I can show the plugin working and how easy it is to apply the plugin elements into some page. I'm gonna be using Gutenberg Editor, but no need to worry, the plugin have elements for WP Bakery and Widgets for Elementor. So you can do whatever you want with this plugin using any kind of page builder that you like. Click into the plus button to call the Gutenberg elements and search for WP file. You have two options, the WP category and the WP file. In the case that you want to apply all of the content, all the categories, we're going to need to copy and post the short code that we did get into the configurator setting. Here's how the plugin looks like into the page backend, but if you go to the preview, you can see everything on your screen almost like, oh sorry, exactly like the final user going to be able to see it. Here's the layout. This theme have a vertical menu, so the page looks like this, into the vertical menu layout, and the vertical menu for the category as well. We can change the theme for the plugin as well, we can change the category that we are calling We can preview, download, have some meta info, the title, and the icon. Really effective and nice way to show the things. To change the category, you just need to click into this section, and the plugin gonna share you the category that is have. Let me delete this and apply a single item, so you can see how this looks like. WP file download file. This is the one. Now, if you click on this search field, click on the browse files, blue button, select some file. I'm gonna be selecting a PDF. You can select any one that you like. Let me repeat the process. Now, let's preview. And this is how the single file looks like. You can apply this in some columns and apply many per column as you want. But it's really, really nice, full responsive and with a good layout. Now, let's install the add-on so we can see what changes. The process is pretty much the same as installing the main plugin. We're gonna download the .zip file. No need to change anything on it. Go to WordPress dashboard, plugins, install now, upload, select your .zip file and install. After this, click on active. And the plugin gonna be now working. No setup wizard now, but nothing to worry. The plugin is now active and working. And the description already shared what the plugin does. It has integration with Google One, with Google Drive, OneDrive, Amazon, and other options. If you go to the configurator or setup panel, you can see 
new options called Cloudy Connection and Social Locker. Social Locker is one of my favorite ones, but if you are using the Cloud Connections, I do recommend that you take a moment to set up this part by part. This is the Social Locker. I'm gonna explain how to enable this, but before you need to complete and fulfill all of these fields with your IDs, with your social media, and what the user needs to do. But let me just copy the short code so I can share, so I can display all of the content, the file download content into some page. And let me show you how would I enable the social locker into some category. Right click into the category. Edit category. And now you can see the visibility and the lock content by socials. This not gonna work because I did not fulfill the social locker content into the, into the plugin configurator, but the process to enable after the fulfillment gonna need to work like this in the case that you want to hide some category and protect it by a social locker. Let me go back to the page where we, got, where we was editing. Let me remove this block and I'm gonna apply a short code. So I'm gonna search for a short code, post it on it, and now let's preview. And here's what we have. We have now all the categories and the categories previously created. As told previously, the social locker will not work here because of the we did not fulfill it but as soon as you fulfill all gonna be working just fine and this add-on it's really really nice because of these tools and the cloud connections let me publish this page and log out so you can so I, we can see the plugin working into the front end directly And here is what we have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the plugin developer site for more extensive documentation and the plugin downloads. And our website on visualmoto.com for full compatible WordPress themes for using these plugins on. And I see you later. All the best.